Remember, this is a tapping block, not a beater block, so you don't want to hit it hard. What's up DIY Nation? Welcome back to You Floor, the channel bringing you tips and tricks to help you with your next flooring project. Now today we're going to be installing laminate in the doorways. Now if you worked up the courage to install your own flooring and you've got up to the doorways, you may be asking yourself, how in the world am I going to get this floor underneath the trim? Well, there's a couple tricks that us floor installers use to make it look very professional. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. So let's go. So when we install our flooring, we want it to slide underneath the trim. We definitely don't want to get it as close as we can and then just fill it in with caulk. Using an oscillating tool, we can set our plank flat on the ground and then set the saw on top for a nice flush cut. Now if you don't have an oscillating tool, a good old hand saw works just as good, but you may have to put in a little bit more work. Let's check the other side. Uh-oh, it looks like we're gonna have to cut this door jam to get our flooring underneath. Lucky for me, I happen to have a DeWalt oscillating tool, one of my favorite tools. A good blade makes this gravy. If you don't have a good blade, I suggest buying one. Otherwise, this may take you a little while. Perfect. Hey guys, don't forget, if you don't have an oscillating tool, you can always use a handsaw. Like I said, it does take a little bit more muscle, but it does the job just as good and makes a nice flush cut. Now if I clip one right here, yeah, temporarily. That'll allow me to get the reveal right here. Trying to install one board in the doorway where it has to go underneath two door jams and clicking in the back can be very frustrating. That's why I like to install my doorways in two pieces, one going to the left and one going to the right. Right here I have a seam and right here I have a seam, so I want to make sure I put it in a different place. Remember, no H patterns around here. So as you can see, the planks that are going into the doorway, I like to click them together and then put them in place. Now I can see how far it needs to come under the door jam on both sides. All right, so now I figure out where my point is. I'm gonna go ahead and bring that all the way across. That's just to let me know where it goes underneath the door. I'm just drawing that across. And then this side too. I'm just using a piece of flooring as a speed square, but I have one downstairs and I recommend keeping that on so you're not doing this. And then right here, the line that we made that's going to be running all the way down right here, I'm just going to go ahead and extend that out. Now the way I like to do this is the line is coming here, and then this is going here. If the baseboard had been on, I like to come over about a half inch and make it at an angle like that. But on these, we don't really need to do that. I'm gonna use my tape measure just to see where it comes out to right here and make it as close to the wall as possible. All right, so from the face of that laminate right there to just about a quarter of an inch inside that. four and three quarters. So I'm going to come back off this side at four and three quarters. 
And what do you know, that lands right there where my mark is all the way across. So we're just going to leave it at that. Now remember, as I said, if you had had the baseboard on there, you would want to come out at a slight angle and bring that out another three-eighths of an inch so that you do still have a little bit of expansion between your base and your flooring. But we don't need to. It's an inch and a quarter, so I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Now right here, about three-quarters on the other side. Now they can be put it in two pieces. Go ahead and like slip this one in, <clears throat> put it as far as it'll go, and then put this one in, and then they'll come together. Beautiful. Okay, so there's no real easy way to put these things together. I guess you could go against the wall on behind the door and try to pry it against it, but sometimes that just tears up the ends. For me, I've just learned how to take my mallet and smack it down and slightly at an angle. I don't want to do it towards the end because I don't want to break the tabs, but smashing them together and then taking my mallet to maneuver it back in place is how I've always done it. Remember, this is a tapping block, not a beater block, so you don't want to smack it hard. This hammer is very heavy, so I'm basically just lifting it up and letting it fall and letting the weight do the work. Remember, Pergo Atlas is very forgiving, so you can tap it straight in. You don't have to lift it at a 40 degree angle. Well guys, there you have it. Installing laminate through the doorway. Hope that helped you guys in some way, shape, or form. And if you guys are looking for more tips and tricks on flooring, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you will be notified when I put these videos out. And if I brought you any kind of value today, guys, go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Doing that helps the channel out tremendously and I greatly appreciate it. So thank you for that. And I think that's gonna do it for this one right here. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave those in the comments. I read all the comments and I try to answer as many as possible. Possible. And if I don't know the answer, I'll find it. All right, guys, until next time, take care, stay safe. Peace.